Good morning, student. Good morning to all of you. Today uh, we are going to discuss a topic that is magnetic field due to curved wire for general angle theta. Okay. Uh, before it, uh, we have discussed already that uh, what is the magnitude of magnetic field if the wire is in the shape of shape uh, in the shape of circle, and uh, what is the magnitude of magnetic field if the wire is in the shape of uh, semicircle, and uh, what is the magnitude of magnetic field if the if the wire is is in the shape of quadrant. Uh, today we will discuss the, if the wire is in uh, max and angle theta. Uh, for general angle theta, suppose this one curved wire. Okay, suppose this one curved wire, and uh, this curved wire uh, makes an angle theta uh, at the center of this curved wire. This one, the curved wire, and this curved wire makes an angle theta here. Okay, and uh, inside the curved wire, there is a current which is following and uh, the length of the curve wire is l we assume that the length of the curve wire is l and uh, inside the curve wire there is a current which is flowing uh, i ampere and this curve wire makes an angle theta at the center of this uh, uh, curve wire okay this one the uh, distance uh, between the wire and uh, o point uh, that is we assume that a that is the radius of this sector uh, the curved wire forms a sector so we say that this one the radius of the a for the sake of simplicity we use here by its weight law to find the magnitude of magnetic field due to this curved wire at a point o okay uh, what is by its weight law let us see here suppose this one a wire okay suppose this one a wire and uh, inside the wire there is a current which i is flowing and then we cut an element dl and at the center of the element element dl this one the elemental current having the direction is same as in the direction of electric current and we take a, a point p and the distance between the dl and p is r and this is the position vector r we have to find out the magnitude of uh, uh, magnetic field due to the dl at a point p this d uh, that is called db this db becomes how much mu naught upon 4 pi i dl sin theta okay upon r square theta is the angle between dl and r this one the biot severed law okay this one biot severed law we use this law to find the magnitude of magnetic field due to this curved wire at a point o okay so we cut an element here we assume that this one the dl elemental current the elemental current having the same direction as in the direction of electric current this is the direction of electric current so this one the elemental current dl also the uh, is in the direction of electric current we take a, a, a distance we take a distance uh, this distance uh, is called uh, a because this one radius a radius a radius should be same as with the distance between the dl and point p is r so this distance dl and point o is a here okay and here we see that the theta becomes 90 degree because uh, here the theta is nothing but it is the angle between the dl vector and r vector this one the ang theta is ang angle between dl and r vector so this one the 90 degree theta because this one the dl and this one the r that is equal to a so theta is here we can write theta is equal to 90 degree okay we use the formula of Bayard's sort law. Then dB becomes how much? The dB that is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i dl sin 90 upon a square because a that is the distance between point P and dl. Here a is the distance between dl and O. So uh, we write here a because of the distances here r but here a. So we put a sin 90 becomes how much sin 90 becomes 1 and the db now db becomes how much mu naught upon 4 pi i dl upon a square this one the magnitude of magnetic field due to this dl at a point o then what is the direction of uh, uh, magnitude uh, direction of uh, magnetic field at a point o uh, we use their right hand thumb board. we put our thumb in the direction of electric current and the four curling fingers will give the direction of magnetic field at a point O. We see that the four curling fingers, if we put the direction of 
uh, you thumb in the direction of electric current then your four curling fingers will give the direction of magnetic field which is inward here at the point o inward so we write here inward inward if you cut uh, so many element having a length dl then we see that the magnitude of magnetic field due to this dl also inward we put our uh, thumb in the direction of electric current this one the direction of electric current then here also the magnetic field will be inward uh, always inward so we can integrate this equation because of the same direction throughout the whole curve the direction of the magnetic field will be same direction so we can integrate it our integration is for sector okay our integration is here for sector then uh, here the db becomes b and mu naught upon 4 pi i upon a square will be come out because i is constant inside the current is constant and a is the radius so also we come out because this one the also a constant and the remaining portion will becomes dl okay and uh, we assume that uh, the length of this arc is l so our integration only for dl and after integration we see that the b becomes how much mu naught upon 4 pi i upon a square and this one l integration of dl becomes l okay if you uh, know then there is a concept that uh, the arc is equal to uh, sorry the angle is equal to okay here sorry the angle is equal to we know that angle is equal to the arc upon radius arc upon radius okay so here uh, angle is theta and the length of arc we assume that l and the radius is a okay then from l is equal to a theta so we can write here the l is equal to a theta from here we can write the l is equal to a theta we use this l equal to a theta here then we find that the magnitude of b becomes how much mu naught upon 4 pi i upon a square into in place of l we put a theta okay a theta we put a theta okay the a will be cancel out and the magnitude of b becomes how much the magnitude of b becomes mu naught upon 4 pi okay i theta upon i okay i theta upon a this one the magnitude of magnetic field due to this arc we use these things we use this concept to find the length of arc because we have only the angle theta and the radius a so we use here how much length of this arc l equal to a theta okay and we put in place of l a theta and after solving this equation we get b equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i theta by the we rearrange this equation and write mu naught upon 2 i upon a okay mu naught upon 2 i upon a and here uh, 2 pi will be there because 2 here so we can write 2 to the 4 pi okay and i upon a then here theta okay we know that this one the magnitude of magnetic field due to the circular wire this one circular wire this one the magnitude of magnetic field due to the circular wire and if you multiply theta by 2 pi then we get a general equation for uh, the curved wire which makes an angle theta okay if uh, one asking to you that uh, how can you find the magnitude of magnetic field due to unitary method let us see the uh, unitary method okay there is a method unitary method okay unitary method okay we know that we have already discussed that uh, for the current which is in the form of circle if the wire is in the form of circular and there is a current 
inside the circle and having a radius a then the magnitude of a magnetic field due to circular wire <coughs> sorry mu not upon 2 i upon 8 this on the magnitude of magnetic field due to the circle and we know that uh, for uh, 2 pi the circle makes angle 2 pi here so in 2 pi uh, the b becomes how much uh, mu not upon 2 i upon a for 2 pi because the circle becomes uh, makes an angle 2 pi for 1 how much the b becomes uh, mu not mu not upon 2 i upon a and the 2 pi will be go downside in denominator it becomes like that for angle theta this one we uh, use for uh, general angle theta for angle theta then how much here the b becomes mu naught upon 2 i upon a and the theta will be multiplied and becomes theta upon 2 pi we see here the magnitude of magnetic field by using the bias third law and by using the unitary method is same you see mu naught upon 2 i upon a mu naught upon 2 i upon a theta upon 2 pi okay i think you are able to follow me uh, and the direction of um, magnetic field is inwards because the integration becomes inwards. Okay. So, you can write here the direction is inward. If uh, you want to remember this uh, uh, equation that the magnitude of magnetic field, you can remember the magnitude of magnetic field to the circle that is mu naught upon 2 i upon a and you multiply theta upon 2 pi. Okay. This will give the magnitude of magnetic field at an angle theta. Uh, by using here uh, in place of theta we put uh, uh, 2 pi we get the magnitude of uh, magnetic field due to the circular wire if you place 2 pi the 2 pi 2 pi will be cancelled out and becomes the circle uh, magnitude of uh, uh, circular wire due to the magnitude of mag magnetic field due to the circular wire i think uh, uh, you are able to follow me thank you thank you very much